Airbnb recently released what I deem to be the most powerful upgrade in years. This is a game changer, seriously. It will dramatically change how you communicate with your guests and it's a foolproof way to make sure that you get a five-star rating for communication every time. In this week's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use this new feature and how to set it up. But be sure to stay tuned until the very end because I'll dish out some pretty important details that could leave you hanging if you don't know about them. And if learning how to use Airbnb's most powerful new feature isn't excitement enough, I'm also bringing back my live question and answer sessions. Join me live tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern and 6 p.m. Pacific. Welcome to another episode of Airbnb Uncovered. I'm Matt, the creator of AirbnbUncovered.com and Airbnb Superhost. On this channel, I uncover some of the best kept hosting secrets, as well as share with you everything that I've ever learned after hosting over 3,000 guests. My tips, tricks, and best practices are focused on helping new hosts earn more revenue, attract the best guests, and achieve superhost status faster. So if you're new to hosting on Airbnb, this is the right channel for you. I'm sure that I've kept you waiting long enough. So let me tell you what I think the most powerful and useful new feature on Airbnb is. And that's the ability to create standard messages and automate when they're sent. No more forgetting to send guests a message or trying to remember if you sent your guests all the information that they need to stay in your home. If you generally get a lot of questions from your guests, you can put an end to it by developing a robust set of standard messages and then scheduling when they go out. And if you do this, I know that your ratings will improve because your guests will start to have a more seamless and enjoyable stay without all the worry of them thinking that they're bothering you. I've been using automated messages via a third-party app for years, but I'd love to know if you've been using it too. Have you been automating your messages to your guests? Tell me in the comments below. So now that you know what the most powerful and new feature on Airbnb is, which again is message automation, let me show you how to set it up. On screen now is a screen capture and I'm going to walk you through step by step on how to create your own automated messages. Start from any message inside your inbox. Then near the bottom, click on this little icon, which is a message and a little timer in the window. Click on that and then click create a scheduled message. And this is where you'll create your scheduled message. First, you wanna give your scheduled message a name. So I'm gonna call mine immediately after booking and this is going to be a message that I want to send to my guests immediately after they've booked. Down here is where you type the actual message. So I'm going to put hi and because I want the Airbnb system to automatically populate the guest name I'm going to click on here which is called short codes. I'm going to pull this down and I'm going to select the guest's first name. So by clicking that, I get this gray part here that is called guest first name. So what the Airbnb system is going to do is it's going to pull the guest's first name out of their Airbnb profile. So I'm going to say, hi, guest first name. Thank you so much for booking my listing. And then I'm going to go back up here to short codes and get my listing name. And the system again is going to pull my listings name. So thank you so much for booking my listing listing name from, and I want to say the check-in and check-out dates just so that the guest can be sure that they've booked the right dates. So I'm going to say check-in date two, and I'm going to put in the check-out date, which is here. Then I'm going to put a little bit of something to let the guests know that I'm already starting to plan for their stay. 
to help me be fully prepared for your stay, can you tell me the following? My standard check-in time is, again, I'm going to pull a short code, check-in time right here, but can you tell me what time you're actually planning to check in? Then I also want to know when they're going to check out so I can schedule my cleanings. What time will you be checking out? And the last thing I want to know is I just want to confirm how many guests are going to be arriving. Can you please confirm the number of guests traveling as well as their names and ages? So the last part about names and ages is just about enhancing the security for me as a host so that I know exactly who's coming and how old they are. Then I'm just going to thank them again for their reservation. Again for booking. Please let me know if you have any other questions. And then I'll say all forward my check-in instructions three days before check-in. Best, Matt. Now you want to scroll down and select the listings you want this message automation to apply to. So for me, I'm going to just pick this one for the sake of an example, and I click save, and then now I'm back here, I have to scroll down a little bit again, and this next part is scheduling. So choose when you want that message to send. So you click down here, and you have three options, booking confirmed, check in, check out. So if you click booking confirmed, which is what I want for this message, because it's gonna go immediately after I guess books, I click booking confirmed and then it wants to know when to send it. So for me personally, I like to send it right away. So I click immediately after. But let's say you wanted to send out a message before your guest checks out. So you could go back up here, click check out, and then it says how many days before the guest checks out. So it could be the day of, the day after, and then you tell it a specific time to send that message. But since this isn't what we want for our immediately after a booking is confirmed message. We're going to go back up here, click booking confirmed, and then immediately after, and then we'll click create. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward to set automatic messaging. But you might be wondering what happens when you get a last minute booking or your guest doesn't stay long enough to meet the criteria set out in your automation. And there's a simple answer to that. Anytime a reservation doesn't line up with your automation rules, the message will not be sent. So if you have a message to go out two days before check-in, but your guest booked at the last minute, the message won't be sent automatically. So you'll have to manually send it. I truly hope that you'll create some automated messages for your guests. Trust me, after I implemented message automation into my Airbnb business, it made my life so much simpler. I stopped worrying about whether or not I'd remembered to send my guests everything they needed. And my guests loved it because they got all the information they needed exactly when they needed it, which developed their trust and confidence in me that I am an organized and prepared host. If you're having trouble setting up your messages, join me live tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern or 6 p.m. Pacific when I'll be doing a live Q&A session. I'll be answering any other hosting related questions you may have as well. So I hope to see you there. As always, if you liked this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click on the notification bell too, so you won't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. I have tons of other videos on how to become a better host, and I hope that you'll check those out too. 
So until tomorrow night when I'll be doing a live question and answer, and next week when I'll be back with another video. Bye for now.